What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Closive, and we're back with Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now, last episode, Lee just got away with Kraven the Hunter, and we finna go hunt them down, see where they are today. You know what I mean? Alright, this is the abilities menu. From here, you can swap your equipped abilities. Okay, got you. Mouse has unlocked Chain Lightning and Venom Punch, but only one of them can be active at a time. Got you. Press X to swap. So Venom Punch, Chain, nah, Chain Lightning, no key, he's low key better. I can't lie. I can't lie, Chain Lightning is low key better. Chance for a free gadget shot. Holding, nah. Gadget. Huh? Oh, wait, I wanted to change the suit for Peter. Yes, I know who's who. this crystal maybe i'm being paranoid but everywhere i go i see them too work the corner store in the park they're tracking us marco was really freaked out I wonder if whoever was following him is still out there hey boss get used to hearing that voice right up to a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, I'm going Gotta bounce. Sorry. There he is. <laughs> okay, y'all are done. <laughs> Tell Pete about them. Hey, Moss. Get used to hearing that voice, man. Dropped you a pin. Come through. Hey, I'm Hey, do either one of you guys have a permit for those? Huh? Oh! Oh! Mike! Mike! He's still breathing, but I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah, uh, where am I? Sp 
Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them. So, we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Here you go, man. Now just help in the city out a little bit. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Bro, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. and flush him down the Nothing toilet. Mm, I should check my meds. I wonder if I could just go down there, just, you know. Nothing? Ah, this job ain't easy on my mental health. Sweet dreams. Birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh man, I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Nice. Oh! 
Hey friends, it's Danica. You are listening to the Danicast. Get this. Now the fastest growing podcast in New York. Hold on to your knickers, Jonah. I'm coming for the crown. For you new listeners, welcome. The Danicast is your spot for real takes on real news about real people. Did y'all hear about this train worker, Dennis, who's single? Ah, oh, here we go. Now, I'll admit, I first walked into his shop because of all the articles about his new flavors, but his traditional ones would have kept me coming back. Sometimes a classic is a classic for a reason. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, these tunnels are so heat to get around, bruh. Legit business transaction. This is my best stuff. Deals off. You're not gonna win this. Seen the prowler zoo with the mask on. Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Mm. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. We getting some? How did you... And Miles, 
That Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude could turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. back here. Another gate. This is a cool new, you know, little mini game. Can't pull it open from down here. a decent problem you should be seeing how to get inside now. I'm in here Wait, what do you want me to do hmm. got it you want to finally tell me what this is old suit prototypes Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Rare, you've received a rare tech part. Use your resources to unlock new suits, gadgets, and suit tech. You can boost your combat and traverse cap capabilities by upgrading suit tech. Select health. Hey, upgrade your health using the rare tech part. Collect your additional resources to further upgrade. Okay, I can do it again. Okay, I can't. Damage, focus. Okay, bet. Listen, this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay, I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con. Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. <laughs> Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely work. Reminds me of the people who ride into the butte. And a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. Saying a thing over and over again doesn't make the truth. Yeah, what's oh, up? Bacon. I'm Dang. stopping you today. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Your 
trying to burn me. Oh, I... Up. Probably shouldn't tell Ma about how close I got to an almost exploding gas truck. Nice. NYC, the mecca of basketball. Sure, you can play it anywhere with just a ball in the net. But when you got the people in the apartment buildings watching, the other players trash talking, and the sound of rubber hitting asphalt, there's a reason they call it the city game. Miles, I'm up there, remember? You on your way? All oh, right, that's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind right now. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Caller, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. Uh there it is. I'd have to move that somewhere else. Plenty of these before. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Sunlight. Pop that in nowhere. Well, Aaron was right. They did come after his tech. Everything good, kid? Got a few unauthorized access attempts in my stash in the shipping yard. Yeah. That group that took Lee showed up. They must be real good if they found him. 
something your dad wasn't able to. Dad? It was the first showdown between Officer Jefferson Davis and Prowler. Had to hide in that shipping container for hours just to lose him. Almost wish he'd caught me right then and there. Never wanted him to get involved. Well, I'm glad you're out of the game now. Is that? Oh, 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 man. I haven't been there in years. When we were at the Bugle's old office. All right. Oh, no, that was smooth. Hey, Miles, what's up? Hey, good to see you. Greg Genki. I can't believe Mr. Atlas is going to be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. Hey, Whew. you made it. <laughs> I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. We left to get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words. Missing in person, so I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. I gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I could find out more. Have any of her personal items? Yes. She left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Have you seen any texts coming in or anything? Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. <sighs> the students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. I wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man. Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Send you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. Hey, yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Thanks is for now your a bad time? Uh, no, I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production, but it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the dream just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? 
Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy. Someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... <laughs> that could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BB in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person and clarify some things. Where is he? All right. With those guys out of the way, let's see where that tracker signal leads. The sig- There she is. This glass looks pretty brave. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. Time to squash a spider. You're dead, Spider-Man. She's ours. You hide. I've got these guys. Me? Fight big man. I don't believe it. You took them out by yourself? I am Spider-Man. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Uh, consider this confirmation. Just try to tell her brother first. <laughs> Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the quad. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Good job, Miles. Got a 
few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. Um, gadgets, gadgets. Let's do. City seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. I can't do this. All right, hold on. Can we switch to Peter? Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Peter, what are you hey, doing? Pete, you ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. If they're not burning something, they're trying to brand someone! Sorry! Had to strike while the iron was hot! The world will be cleansed of your filth! Don't worry, I'll get you to an ambulance in no time. Just swing carefully, please. Not you telling me how to swing, boy. We're almost there. I don't think I've ever taken the subway. It's just too fun. Here you go. And now you're in much better hands. You're a good man, Spider-Man. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. That should work for Robbie. You know, I saw an old grandmaster playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from... Wow, Harry got this place? It's a, it's a big place. Yeah. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a big place, bro. It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really going to start cooking. Uh, 
Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. Isn't it? First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Oh, here we go. Yes, Gene, I just checked in on Dan and Annie. The back data does not cross-tabulate with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Well, they're, they're good, man. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, was and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not them. Oh, nice! Oh yeah, yes. I'm having fun. I'm playing Call of Duty. Yep. Oh yeah! Gotta protect the hive. Nice. Gotcha. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. Nah, this, this is lit. You got great data. Okay, flying home. Attention employees. Don't forget, today is food truck day. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. Tomorrow. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Probably not. Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the 
lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But uh, wait, so he's he's the lizard. Meet me upstairs when you're ready. Okay. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Remember he took it. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. On the I'll way see deep. you in a sec. Do you need the XRF analysis? Well, what if I needed a higher... Excuse me, sorry. Really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Miles. Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm-hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. That man got the beanie. Uh, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Sure. Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. 
Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. supposed to be like the part. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Hmm. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours mm. are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Is no. Okay. This. Let's see. This. Oh. Huh? Let me see. But like. Got it. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. So we need one green, one yellow. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Oh. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. -y. Your office. Or is it our office? Our. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. Attention. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope. False alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Aww. How'd you get that picture, Doka? 
Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. You gotta get these thumbnails. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. That's cool. Bye. I'm, I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. Are you giving up on my man, Miles, bruh? Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Ah, oh, Pete. What is this? Let's try the Brooklyn 2099 suit. Man, I like the Yo, this Sorry, suit. I didn't look back to you before, but I was. I just got a new job. <laughs> For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's. It's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Nah, this suit is fire. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Glittering? Man, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what in the? <laughs> 
arachnid! Come on! Now have your boss with the main get this kind of tech! Who knows how to come up? You could have just said I don't know! Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. Gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline going through the city like it's an obstacle course never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay. You know, I've got nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. Yeah, yeah, you always held back. By not killing him? Yeah, killing really isn't my thing. Damn, I done kick bro off the building. Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh, is that your home? this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ. Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. 
Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I want to find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Bro, I was not, wasn't I just doing that with Miles? Gotta drop one of them away. That's one. You could use a brain. That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. than my bosses would have preferred. There we go. We're just here. That's everyone. Now, what were they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded, so I'll join you soon. Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. I want them hungry. You hungry too? <clears throat> Another one down. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Oh, oh sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking fields operational. Good. Beetles, talent drones, and <gasps> are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich. Or well-connected. Or both. There, a 
again. Crack the webs. You're feeling sleepy. That's a nice man. All right. Where to next? Looks like this is the only way. A research lab? Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa. Isn't that a scorpion's Not a armor? Single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hey, MJ. I have another name for you. Craven. Seems like he's the boss of these guys. And he's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How about this? The main Craven wears. You know the story behind it? Didn't know there was one. There was some mine outside Sav. There was a man eater who'd killed close to a hundred workers. Craven was young. Only took a few hours. Damn. But when he finally got close enough to draw his blade, the lion was stronger, faster, more cunning. It was only through luck that he managed to strike a kill in the low. Raven had never been so close before. So he took that mane as a reminder. And like a blue. Think you're being clever? I hear you were not impressed. Back up to me. Sleep tight. Check their position. What's the matter with you? Another hundred I'll cover you. Let this be the last. an update on the perimeter. Anyone copy? Someone see what's going on. Them yet. He's catching us in webs. What the hell was that? Yes, I was. I you are right. No one's here. Another body. He. Man down. Nah, I'm moving. I could really use some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? 
Wait. I kept bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't... Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! <laughs> Nice, doggy, kitty, robot! Those teeth are no joke! Getting beat talking at that rah rah. Listen, this would go a lot easier for everyone if someone just filled me in. Craven hunts what man fears most. That's all you need to know. Oh, so he's hunting failure? Intimacy? Clowns! It's clowns, isn't it? Good riddance, I say. <laughs> You heal. That was friendly. What were you protecting? Craven guy's putting together quite the team. I don't think he's putting up together, gang. I think he's hunting.
is not teaming up with supervillains for some hunt. There is prey. Felicia. Come on, bro. We gotta go save. We gotta go save the, my baby girl. Come on. My date's almost here, and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. <sighs> Can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. I see you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Look, next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. Nah, that's who the fire. Hey, so I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion. And he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean we? I don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. And Felicia's on their list too. Black Cat, your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up, and... We're going to find Lee, Miles. I promise. Alright guys, I think we should end it there. Time until MJ calls. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for episode 3. We will be going to save Maybe Black I should Cat. try to find some hunter hideouts. Till next time.